I am here to introduce Jamie Lee Curtis. No, it's not Michael and Lori. It's Chase and Ellie. Woo! <laughs> well, uh, where are you from? I'm from Jersey, so. Oh, okay. Not really yeah. from here, but. Not, not too far. Not too far. Yeah. So the first time at the con or? Oh no, this is probably my eighth year, but I got a lot of Comic Con, so. Yeah, yeah. Do you dress up a lot on Comic Cons? Um, well, I was cosplaying the last couple of days, but they am just me. <laughs> just me and a girl. Just go wear the strawberry dress <laughs> today. <laughs> Endings are a bitch. <laughs> but so is Lori Strode. Something feels different. He's more dangerous. He killed my daughter. But tonight, I will kill him. Come and get me. Ellie just got out of the Halloween Inn's Jamie Lee Curtis tribute panel. What was it like seeing Lori Strode alive and well on the stage? Oh my God, it was incredible. I mean, I was second row, so that was surreal in itself. Halloween in 1978 was your first film. All that John said to me, and, and you guys will appreciate it because we're in a big hall. Jo all John said was, I want her to be vulnerable. Now, when I was 19, first of all, I couldn't spell vulnerable because I barely got out of high school. And two, I, I thought that meant weak. What happened is we made the movie and then I went into a theater in Hollywood, like late night theater in Hollywood. It was a packed house. Um, it was around Halloween and I stood in the back <clears throat> And, you know, the movie's going on, and Lori and her friends, and teasing, and Michael, and hey, speed kills, and all of the setup. And then the phone call from Linda, and Lori looking out the window, checking on the kids, and then walking across the street. Now, you guys know the sequence. Lori to the house, it's that long walk. And in a pin, silent, theater, a woman in the middle stood up and went, don't go in there, there's a killer in the house! And the whole theater started the audience participation that we now know is a horror movie experience. And it was in that second that I went, oh, that's what he meant. He wanted her to be vulnerable so that you cared about her and you didn't want her to get hurt. And you guys haven't wanted me to get hurt for 44 years. She's so amazing. And to see her in real life and speak so eloquently about her experience. Oh my God, it's a memory. It's a yeah. forever memory. She, it, she seems like she's, she's lived a lot of ages. She has a lot of wisdom. These movies are about way more than just Michael Myers and Laurie Strode. They're about who we are. And I'm incredibly proud of them because they're about something. And at the center of all of it is Laurie Strode, a woman Every single person in this room has persevered. There's not a person in this room that hasn't had some hardship, some difficulty in their lives that they have continued to stand up and get up each day and, and say, I'm going to keep trying. And the fact that Laurie Strode has never given up, it makes me want to sing the Peter Gabriel song. You know, don't give up is the message of Laurie Strode. To say a last question, what do you think Halloween ends can do for people as a society? So we have to have hope. If, if we don't have hope, 
we're so fucked. I really liked how she was talking about, you know, there's no hope. And, you know, if you're running away from fear, you're not really living. I really, yeah. you know, it really struck me deeply. I didn't know the film was going to have something to say. Because <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we all love a campy horror movie, you know? Sure. Garbage day! Huh? No! <laughs> sure. Well, it can't be horror movie, but, you know, for something to have heart and, you know, complexity, you know, I really appreciate that in a movie. Yeah. Makes me wonder if, like, the way Michael Myers might end is just that she stops fighting. Hey, that's an that might be thing. like it just kind of like disappears. That's You're like, an interesting. Whoa. Thing. I mean, I need finale. I need. <laughs> you do need, I need finale. a solid yeah. ending, but that would be. An could be like thing. the Return of the Jedi of, uh, of um, Halloween. That could be. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no one's falling down shafts, right? I was also pleasantly surprised to hear that she still had good things to say for H2O. Yeah. H2O was conceived really by me. I'm just not, I, I'm not titled as a producer on it. Um, I mean, we're all close. You guys aren't going to tell anybody on the internet or anything, are you? <laughs> I like H2O. <laughs> I like H2O a little too. I think it maybe just was a little too heavy on the Josh Hartnett. What the fuck do you think you're doing? When we could have had more, <laughs> yeah. more Jamie Lee Curtis. But, but yeah, yeah. I, it's valid, valid. Valid, valid point. <laughs> I'm ready to end it. But I'm gonna miss you so much. I don't have anything in my life without Laurie Strode, nothing. I would not have a career, I would not have a family. Everything comes from you loving her. I'm telling you, this should be flipped. This should be flipped, it should be me with the lights on you because I'm telling you, everything good in my life came from that shitty little office on Cahuenga Boulevard in Hollywood that was about the size of where these two chairs are when John Carpenter and Deborah Hill cast me in the part of Laurie Strode. I, I, I didn't know it then. I know it now. You know, one of these days, hopefully not tomorrow, but you know, I'm 64. I mean, do the math. It's not in my favor. Sooner than later, it's going to say three words. Halloween actress dies. But, uh, but of course she's going to die. Everybody dies. My point is, it is the, it is the permanent ink of my life is you guys. It is the permanent saturation into me, no matter what I do, whatever the f I do, forever. Laurie Strode is because of you.